Hi, everyone. I'm trying something different this morning. I thought perhaps we would warm up with a family splat. I've arranged some slides from simplest to more challenging. And I thought it might be fun to do a little math together this morning, which should be interesting when I can't hear responses. But let's just see how it goes. I hope we'll have fun. Excuse me while I start this slideshow. All right, here comes our first splat problem. How many dots do you see? You can always pause if I move too fast for you. There are nine dots, but here comes the fun part of splat. How many dots are still hiding under that splat? Hmm. Well, I see six on the outside, and I know there were nine all together. How many do you think must be hiding? Pause if I'm moving too fast, because I know under that splat, there are three dots. That makes sense to me because there are six on the outside, and with three more on the inside, I have nine all together. Okay, time to get more challenging. How many dots do you see? I won't make you count that many dots. There are 16. Splat. How many are under the splat? Remember, you can pause if I'm moving too fast. Did you know there are 11 under that splat? You can go ahead and check my work if you like. See if you can count the dots under the splat in some way other than one at a time. Maybe you can count by twos or by threes. You might even see some groups of five under there. Time to get more challenging. Wow, that's a lot of dots. In fact, there are 23. Oh my goodness, look at how many splats there are. In the splat world, all splats that are the same color have to have the same number of dots underneath. They have to have an equal number of dots. Hmm, 23 altogether. I can see two. And each of those splats has to have the same number underneath. You might need a third grader's help. They are great at thinking about equal groups. How many dots are under each of those splats? Here we go. There should be three under each of them. Let's see how many groups there are. One group of three, two groups of three three groups of three, four groups of three, five groups of three, six groups of three, seven groups of three. Seven groups of three is 21. And sure enough, with the other two that we're not hiding at all, we have 23 all together. All right, we're taking it up a level. We are going to look at fractions with our upper grade students. What is the value of all of the shaded holes and parts? There are seven holes all together. One, two, and then however you're combining your halves, three, four, five, six, seven would be one way to think about it. Splat. Hmm. What is the value under the splat? You don't necessarily have to know how many are looking like halves and how many are filled, but what is the total value that is hidden? Let's think. I see three halves 
which is the same as having one and a half, how much more of the seven must be hiding? Here comes our last reveal of the day. There should be five and a half underneath, right? Five and a half and then another half would be six. And then this hole over here would be seven. Let's check. One, two, you can put these two together. Three, four, five and a half under the splat. Thanks for the fun today.